So let's jump right into it. The Cowboys, the number two seed, they will play West Virginia in Tulsa. And coach, obviously the new venue over there, uh, Tulsa has been a kind place. They've really embraced Oklahoma State. They've embraced Bedlam. They they certainly look forward to, to this Big 12 tournament. Exciting opportunity to go play over there. Oh, absolutely. Uh, conference tournaments are a lot of fun. Uh, this particular tournament this year, I think when you look at the, the position most of the ball clubs are in, uh, this conference tournament is almost going to be played like a regional tournament because I think uh, a number of the clubs, if they look at where they're at in the big picture, know that they need to win this tournament uh, in order to extend their season. I think you're going to see teams playing hard. Uh, they're going to be playing like uh, their season is, is on the line, and, and for most of them, I believe it is. Uh, I think our ball club will play with the same urgency because we know, too, a strong showing and a potential championship on the line can, can greatly impact our future this season. Uh, I do feel like uh, TCU and, and, and ourselves have, have put the regular season body of work together to be in the NCAA tournament. Uh, prognosticators feel like the rest of the teams in our league have work to do. So you have those interesting dynamics of teams that have a lot to play for, a uh, great place to play, and uh, I think there'll be a tremendous fan uh, participation in Tulsa. If we can stay away from rain and any type of severe weather, then the tournament has a chance to be really special. No doubt about it, Coach. You guys have won three out of four on the road. Talk to me about that positive momentum going into postseason. Oh, well, there's no question. As I told the kids uh, after the last game of the regular season, I'm very proud of them. I love this group. They've been resilient. They've been tough. They've overcome injury. Uh, they've taken every challenge that our schedule has presented, and they've stared it in the face and answered it. And uh, we have a lot to be confident about. We've got uh, a, a particular group of players that have played a lot of baseball uh, this time of year. They have postseason experience. And all you have to do is continue to stay the same. You don't change how you play because it's the postseason. You know that you've been trained the right way. You stick to your guns. You play the way uh, that you have all year long. And that uh, you have a calm and a peace about you because you're ready for this. And I believe this team is. Last year, you guys advanced to the Big 12 championship game. Talk about getting back this year. You talked about the, the angst that a lot of teams are going to be playing with. And you guys are going to have to match that intensity to make another strong run. Sure, no question about it. Uh, our kids, though, uh, every chance we get to wear this uniform and play together, uh, we play the same way. We play all out. We play with a commitment to one another to play at a high level. And so uh, some teams may have that motivation to extend their season. Our motivation is simple. This is a precious opportunity to play together. We're not going to let those slip by. So uh, we'll stay true to our mission from the beginning, play together, play hard, uh, play well. And uh, I think uh, the fans are going to really see outstanding baseball because of the urgency and and uh, the way the teams are going to compete. And Oklahoma City has been a great host for this tournament for so many years, but your guys have embraced Tulsa, as I said, and it kind of back and forth. Are they excited about the new venue? Oh, sure. I, I think you ask our kids. They're excited about anything. They, they are <laughs> they're a good bunch. Uh, Tulsa will absolutely embrace us, that's for sure. And the folks in the Tulsa community and the All Sports Association there, that's uh, sports commission there that's working to put this tournament on there, they're looking to show the world, hey, we can we can do something big time too. So, uh, Oklahoma City has been awesome. Uh, you know, the other only town other than Omaha, Nebraska, that's probably handled college baseball for so long so well is Oklahoma City. So uh, we haven't lost sight of Oklahoma City's commitment to college baseball. But this year it's Tulsa's turn, and uh, we're going to go over there and do our part to make a great weekend.